Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty, and this guy with the rock star long hair is Teddy <laughs> Covers at Teddy underscore Covers on Twitter. And next to him is Tony Finn at Finn at Wager Talk on Twitter. Give them both a follow, please. This Monday, we've got the Lending Tree Bowl, Miami, Ohio versus Louisiana Lafayette. Teddy, what are your thoughts on this game? I feel like Louisiana, uh, very good ground game, very efficient. Uh, they can run up and down that field so fast. Ohio, Miami, Ohio's defense is okay, and they have a very low scoring offense. So where are you seeing this game going? So it's not an easy game, and it's not a game that I have a bet on. Yeah. So let me start with that. The Raging Cajuns are pretty good, mm -hmm. you know, on, on both sides of the football. You talk about the offense and the fast pace they like to play, their, mm -hmm. their, their ability to consistently move the change on the ground and create big plays out of the running game. I thought they can't chuck the football around either, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's impressed me most about the Raging Cajuns this year is what they've done defensively. You know, their defensive has been stout, and they've been stout up front, and they've taken most of the high-octane offenses of their caliber that they've faced. They, they've shut them down pretty good. Um, and, and that's why they were, you know, an elite team by their standards mm -hmm. uh, this year. Miami O played three early season road games mm -hmm. against three really good defenses. They went to Iowa and they got annihilated. They went to Ohio State and they got mm -hmm. annihilated. They went to Cincinnati and they got, they got bombed in all three of those games. And the defense ran out of gas and the offense couldn't move right. the football against the good defenses. But what happens when you have a team that has three games like that it impacts their statistical profile for mm -hmm. the entire season. Yeah. So How rude. In <laughs> Miami O has been something of an undervalued commodity ever since. Uh -huh. And if you've been backing the Red Hawks, you've made money backing the Red Hawks. And here they are, they're two TD dogs. And part of me feels like, you know, Lala, that's what I call Lafayette. Uh, but Louisiana's, uh, you know, I've always called them Lala. I was wondering I why you came in singing mm -hmm. La La La. Yeah, it's one of those La La. It's just, uh, Louis, La. That's the way I used to abbreviate them L A L A. Uh, yes. uh, Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, and and it's, it's stuck in my mind. So. It's one of those things, you know, you have, you've been in this business as long as we have, you get, st you get stupid nicknames for teams. Mm -hmm. I call them La La. But they're 14-point chalk here for a reason, right. you know. Uh, but Miami O, they're feisty. They were, they've only been uh, bold one previous time in the Chuck Martin era, uh, and, and they were 14-and-a-half-point dogs in Mississippi State, and they almost won that game, yeah. you know. And uh, obviously, the Bulldogs weren't excited about that matchup. Lafayette is probably a little bit more excited about the matchup. Yeah. but. I don't dismiss Miami O's season or their chance in this game because they suffered bad loss in September. Mm -hmm. So it's a pass for me. I don't know about you. Hmm. Well, I, you both make very good points. And if you like Miami, if you like Miami O here, mm -hmm. then I think you should be on them because, as you described, this is a team that's happy to be here. They're going to fight tooth and nail in a game like this. I believe La 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 is also <laughs> is also going to uh, is happy to be here. It, when you get Two teams like this, two teams that are call them mid majors, call them whatever you want to call them. Um, it's very unusual that they're not motivated. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just, they're not going to be part of the January 4. They're not going to probably be a, 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 in more than a sure, year. Six games. It's not a question. It's not a question. Right. And LaTeX, listen, LaTeX has, I mean, LaTeX, La La has <laughs> that rare combination that, that, that you described. It's when you can, when you have an offense like that and you still have a stout, a defense that's stepped up to the plate and, and done their part. The tough, this is a tough position for Miami O. I don't have an opinion. I didn't make a bet on the game. And I agree with Teddy. I, I'm staying away. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard you say Very that, Tony. Very nice. Well, I try to agree with him. It's nice Just to see you so guys get getting along. Studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you agree with me on them passing the game. Yeah. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Thank you, guys. $2 Tuesday, every Tuesday, get the hottest handicapper's best bet for just $2 at both wagertalk.com and our sister site, sportsmemo.com.